Father, forgive us for what we must do. You forgive us, we'll forgive you. We'll forgive each other till we both turn blue. Then we'll whistle and go fishing in heaven. Fish and whistle, whistle and fish. Eat everything that they put on your dish. And when we get through, we'll make a big wish that we never have to do this Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of The Fisherman Fishing Planet. And there have been a number of changes that have occurred just recently, especially the addition of some new lures, the addition of the Carolina, Texas, and uh, three-way uh, rigs, uh, as well as new crawls and baits and buzz baits. That's the free stuff. Now, the other thing that was introduced was a new DLC. It's the first one that they've had since it came out. And this is the Blue Crab Island DLC. Now, I understand it does cost some money. But let me tell you guys, you can start playing this right off the bat. Level 1. You don't have to be like level 55 or whatever it is you have to be for uh, Fishing Planet Classic. You can instantly go in and play it. Travel cost isn't that... It, pricey you start off with a free license which you can buy for practically no money and there's a whole slew of new species here that have not been seen before I'll give you an example of some of them let's go ahead and slide up here now this one here the American gizzard shad that's an kind of a small bait fish but they can get actually kind of big to be honest I've seen them, uh, as a matter of fact, I've seen them in the Ohio River, and uh, they can come fairly good size. There's the big mouth buffalo. That's a new buffalo fish that we have not seen before. We've seen the small mouth, but this is the first time we've seen the big mouth. This sucker gets up to 88 pounds. Then we have the black drum. This can reach 110 pounds, which means this is so far probably the biggest fish you can catch in the game one of the biggest if not the biggest and then some of the old favorites like bluegill there's a bonefish that's brand new lots of new baits too like gulf shrimp I haven't seen the finger mullet they must be waiting to introduce that but sea worms clam meat then we have the bowfin which we have seen before in the bullheads and the butterfly peacock bass. Common snook. This time they come in unique sizes. Gaff top cell catfish we've seen before. The large mouth bass that goes all the way up to unique. Long nose gar all the way up to unique. The Oscar again. This one called a permit. Goes up to about, let's see, how big does it get? 40, no, 79 pounds. Average from 6 to 40 pounds. Strange looking fish. And then there's the red drum, which we've dealt with before at the Everglades. The red eared sunfish. A new kind of bass called a shoal bass. It's like 8.8 .8 pounds in weight in the warm waters of the Mississippi, Florida, and Georgia. Then we have the southern flounder. Goes up to unique as well. The speckled peacock bass. So now we've got a new one. And they are very large in size, may reach up to 29 pounds. Now we got the striped bass. First time we've seen that one since uh, San Joaquin. Now you can get to it right away, even before that. And of course, the tarpon, these guys will actually come up in unique sizes, not just common. Unique. So you know they're going to be big. 355 pounds. Okay, that will probably beat just about anything in this game so far anyway anyway guys I know it took a while to go through that but I mean I think it's well worth your time and look and to, to top it all even with all the new lures and gear and everything else that they do give you free they give you two new rods if I'm not mistaken or at least one new rod and they give you well we got all the offset hooks they give you those free uh, the Carolina and the Texas rigs they give you free like I said, the offset hooks. And just the best thing of all, 
they give you a new boat. They give you the Gary Scott Scorpius. This is a fiberglass boat, fast, and just an awesome first bass boat, not an inflatable boat this time. So we're gonna come in here and we're gonna take a look at this thing. I have not even gone in. I've spent a great deal of time trying to prepare my gear so that I can kind of hit every genre if I can, so you know, so to speak. Honestly, I don't know, you know, what I can do. There's some baits I still can't get because of my level, but eventually we will be able to get them. Let's go in here and check this out, guys. All right, looks like we are here. So far, it looks like there are just two pegs, but one of the pegs allows you to get in your boat. My understanding is this is supposed to be the biggest map in the game. Now, you know, we will soon see that, find out for sure. I've got to check out this new boat, though. I am curious to see how that works. So let's go ahead. We are gonna check out this particular one. We're gonna go in here to private so that we have a little little bit of peace <laughs> nothing personal okay blue crab v8 or one enjoy exploring blue crab island and its premises for a certain number of days to complete this challenge 2000 okay there's only almost always one of those all right so this is in the Mississippi. Open water, salt water marshes. Let's go ahead and board this dude. Now I wonder if that how that if that trolling motor works, and if it does, how? <laughs> I guess we'll have to find out, huh? Well, let's see if we start it. How do we start it? Press E. Are you serious? It's that easy, guys. Just that easy. We just press a button. <laughs> Very nice. Nice, smooth, and quiet. I think we're going to open her up here in a minute. Let me go ahead and take that down so we can see a little better. Oh, this is beautiful. This is absolutely lovely. I don't have to tell Dula about this. Let's see how fast we can go. Whoa! 52 miles per hour, guys. Now that is flying. Absolutely have no idea where's the best places to fish. Not even a clue. But once you get down to about 15 miles per hour, it looks like you can start picking up things off the bottom here. Yeah, this is a big lake. It'd have to be to be able to have this kind of speed on this boat. You couldn't do much with this in Emerald Lake. <laughs> so far okay there's our first wow okay we definitely got some fish there don't know what they are guess it doesn't really matter does it oh cool you definitely have a trolling motor no wonder how that works you just press the button it doesn't tell you I don't know we'll figure it out anyway guys let's see what we can do here I'm gonna get something a little bit more oomph to it here let's see that's our bottom rod And I want to try out these buzz baits anyway. Now, how do I? Well, 
Well, I guess you can't do that. Yeah, I'm not really sure how to operate this boat. <laughs> Don't have a clue. I mean, it's got a trolling motor. Alright, let's try this. See how a buzz bait does. Whoa, there we go. Not too bad. I was a little concerned there for a minute because, again, I don't, I've never been here, don't know what I'm doing. What do we got here, guys? We have us a trophy common snook. Now, that's a hell of a way to start off, guys. Trophy common snook, buzz bait. Definitely going to have to keep that in mind. Let's take a look at him. There you go. First fish. And not a bad one. We will keep him. Oh yeah, that's another thing. You also get a, another uh, keep net that goes up to 551 pounds. And the biggest fish you can put in is 220. 220. <laughs> That would be a massive tarpon, wouldn't it? Let's see if we can get us another one here. So the stop and go worked pretty good. The buzz bait, they did take long to attract something. Damn. I'm liking this. I am liking this, guys. This is this is good. This is great. Oh wow, my thing is I think we need to put an anchor down. What the hell do we catch? Oh crap! Oh crap, check it out! Awesome! Oh, I'm loving this. This is awesome, guys. This is awesome. 1714 cash. Black drum. This is just a regular black drum. I heard they were big, but lord, look at this guy. Let's see how big he is compared to me. There you go. Now that is nice. I like. Me likes. <laughs> Let's get a bit. Let's get in the sun here. There we go. Black drum. Definitely going to get a picture of him. It's my first one. We will keep him. Looks like we got fish all over the place. I really like these buzz baits too. Yeah, when I fished with this on Ultimate Fishing Simulator, they really, really attract the fish too. Definitely worth your time. Stop and go seems to be the way to go here. That sucker brought me all the way over here, so I don't know. <laughs> he literally drugged me in the boat. Let's see, is there a... Alright, I'll tell you what. Let's go ahead and sit back down. I keep putting that out. How is it that that works? It's got to have... Oh, there we go. 
Aha! Yes, you just kind of use it like you would anything else. All right, we're going to turn this sucker around because we kind of got off the beaten path there. That little guy drug us all the way over here. Hey, you don't have rod holders, though. That's the only thing I'm not real crazy about, but that fish finder is right in front of us, so we can kind of look around and see where the fish are. Now, we already know they're over there. Let's try it again. I've already got a black drum and a common snook. All right, let's do this, guys. Let's go ahead and go back into the boat here. Let's go see if we can't find some cover here. Might as well do a roundabout trip here and see what we got going on. Looks like I can see fish even at this speed. Yep, there's fish down there, probably catfish. Okay, there's our boundary. Not sure what this is that I'm heading up, almost looks like a boat. Yeah, it's an old barge, that's what it is. Looks like it sank. some mangroves. See that could be the kind of cover we're talking about here. We could give it a try. I mean, there is at least that's cover. I am getting some blips. Let's try to throw on the other side of those. I just want to get see if anything will go on this. Of course, it may not be something that these guys go for. I don't know. I'll have to take a look at the fish species. I'm sure bass would, but anything else? It's hard to say. So far, getting a whole lot of a whole lot. Let's see. Could always try a crankbait. That's going to be a little bit light, but we can try it. Still, probably still get a pretty good cast. Oh, yeah. That's a nice rod, is what that is. Okay, let's take this down to about a two. Since, wow, that was like instant. That was like instant, guys. Holy crap. Is this another one of those? Nope, striped bass. 876. 
I mean, as soon as I threw it in the water. Cool. There we go. Yeah, we need to move around a little bit. Let's see, what we got here another striped bass. Bonefish. That's another new one. Trophy bonefish. 846. 7.455 pounds. Let's see what this guy looks like. So that's a bonefish. Hmm. All kinds of new species here, guys. I don't know if they're good eating or not. Something about the name bonefish doesn't indicate that. <laughs> but too many bones? I don't know. Who knows? Never caught one. I've got a fan of mine, a friend... She goes by the uh, name of Mo Dollars. She's from Louisiana. I'm sure she knows what all these fish are. So she's probably going, you lunkhead. 